Chapter 5, Disposal of Tangible Assets. If you haven't already worked through Baseline Assessment 5.1, please do so now and then check your answers against the solutions. Tangible assets, which are sometimes also known as fixed assets, are the assets that a business buys in order to use to generate the income they need. For example, land and buildings, vehicles such as a truck, uh, equipment such as a laptop, computer, cell phone, etc., machinery that might be used in a factory. All of these assets must be very carefully managed and controlled in order to ensure that they perform as cost-effectively as possible while generating the income needed. Discovery Activity Part 1 For this activity, you will need a little dinky cart truck, a matchbox, a small basket or dish, and importantly, a box of Smarties and a packet of jelly tots, a money bag and a pencil. Firstly, you need to buy your truck with the Smartie value loaded. Imagine that the Smartie value is 5 Smarties. Put these Smarties on the truck and you will need to then pay 5 Jelly Tots in return for this truck. Over time, you know that your truck will depreciate. How could you depreciate the value of your truck? Eat some Smarties. When you sell your truck, place the jelly tots that you receive in your money bag. You might have received the value of the truck at that time, or you might have received more or less. You should be able to see very quickly how much profit or loss you have actually made. However, since we record accumulated depreciation as a separate item from our cost, how do you think we might record this sale? In order to figure this out, we're going to try this exercise again. Part 2. Pull out the T-accounts in your book and lay them out on your desk flat. This time, when you buy your truck, load it with 5 Smarties again and pay your 5 Jelly Tots, Instead of just leaving it on your table, drive it onto your vehicle's T-account. Now, when you depreciate your truck, instead of eating the Smarties, take Jelly Tots and use these instead. Place them in the matchbox. You should realize that you would need to credit your accumulated depreciation on vehicles. Now, when you sell your truck, how on earth would you be able to record the sale? Use your extra dish as an additional tea account in which you could toss amounts out to. What do you think will happen if you sell at a profit or a loss? What you can do is you can in fact transfer all of your accounts to the basket or bowl to clear them out. You no longer have any vehicles, so you need to take your vehicle out of the vehicle's account and instead put it on the debit side of this account. Your accumulated depreciation is also no longer relevant, so you need to clear it out of your accumulated depreciation account and show it over here. In addition, you have received some jelly tots. You need to show that as well. You would have debited your bank account so you will need to credit this account. Hopefully you can see that even though we don't even know what account this is, it doesn't really matter. It is simply acting as a clearing out account to help us do the calculation that we need. For every Smarty that you have, eat one Jelly Tot until you have a balance left over. Obviously if you have more Smarties than Jelly Tots, you will have Smarties left over. And if you have more Jelly Tots than Smarties, you will have Jelly Tots left over. If you have Smarties left over, this means you made a loss. And if you have Jelly Tots left over, this means you made a profit on the sale of your vehicle. Part 3. Now that you understand in principle how you should record these transactions, try to do them in tier counts. When you drove your truck onto your big tier count page, all you need to do is show a debit entry. 
when you recorded your depreciation, show a credit entry in accumulated depreciation, as you normally would, by writing the entries in. Your basket or your bowl is going to be used as an asset disposal tea account. Although we create a tea account for this, its purpose is simply open and shut on the same day to help us with our calculations.